Alright everyone, what's up? This is Mitch. I'm going to be showing you how to edit like a hardcore editor. Um, this will be syncing in After Effects with Twixter. And I may do one with time remapping if for those who don't have Twixter. But Twixter is a plugin that most editors, I'm just going to say it's pretty needed. You, you need this. Alright, this is an editor's best friend. Or one of them. All right. What? So, first, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna be doing. I should have had this already pre-rendered, I guess. I'll come back when I'm done pre-rendering it, or yeah, pre-rendering it. All right. So here we go. Alright, so this is this is what I was basically gonna show you. Syncing this syncing hardcore in After Effects is much more difficult than Sony Vegas is. So when we get to Sony Vegas this should be a whole lot simpler. So what I'm gonna do is start a new comp. Uh I'm gonna set this for like three minutes, I guess. Because I don't know how long the song is. Bring the song in here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sync it to a different part of the song. How about right here? Yeah. Right here. Alright. Those will be my points that I will be doing this to. So let's see. Uh, <laughs> close that off, but I want to know where I want to start the scope twixer in. Hmm. All right. So let's begin here. We won't need most of this. All right. Bring my clip in. Fix the black on the sides. Go to each kill point. You want to go everywhere that you get a kill. And basically split the layer. You want to do this with all the kills. Alright, now when we do this, this part's probably the most tedious part. After this, it's not that bad. But, uh. Actually, I think this is probably the least tedious part, so. Yeah. So, right here, we're gonna put a kill. Here, we'll put a kill. Kill here. A kill here, and you. What you want to do is make sure that all of these are lined up. We're not going to sync lack the scope in right now. That's something you can do on your own because that's something really simple. So I like to go to where these numbers get 
gigantic. And I like to apply Twixter. Go one frame. Put this to five. Go down here and push you on your keyboard. And by the way, if you haven't done this already, go through all these. And frame blending. Go halfway through the clip. Keyframe. Rest of the way through. Speed it up. Make these easy. And you want to do that for every one of these. So I'm going to do one more like that. And then I'm going to pause this and do the rest of them like that. This is pretty simple but it doesn't look as good as Sony Vegas if you use Sony Vegas to sync your hardcore then trust me it will look so much better T not tons better looks like I didn't even go halfway there so I'm gonna start zooming in here about there and put this up like 145. Alright. Pow gets kill goes bam. Put this twixter here. Alright. Freeze up on me, why don't you? Alright. Frame rate. I'm not gonna do all that extra stuff that I do to this Twixter cause time is time and I don't want to waste any so we're about there keyframe go to the end drag it up to where he gets this kill this is the last sync point I'm gonna do right there I guess well I don't like to show the scope in there cause it kind of if you show the scope in there it kind of does this weird fading like thing I don't really like a whole lot alright so what I'm going to do is I'm make all my keyframes easy and to get this like that I used uh, this weird it's underneath the escape on your keyboard I don't know what it's called but uh, it looks a lot like this that button or this that little thingy alright and now what it should look like is this I'll pre-render it and then I'll show you what mine looks like. alright so this is what it looks like And that's what it looks like. And next episode I'll show you how to do it in Sony Vegas, which is much easier, looks much better, and more professional. So uh, After Effects is more just to apply the actual effects. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys on the next episode of Hardcore Editing. Peace out.